Hello guys, welcome to Trading Home and today's tutorial will be showing you guys something very very important. Okay, something you need to know, something you can use to you know fasten your work. So let's say for instance you have this um you have this window, this one is 600 by let me check the measurement. This is 600, this is 600 by 2 meters. Why this one, this particular one, is one meter okay by two meters the other one this one is 600 by two meters this one is one meter you can see the image here this one is one meter by two meters okay so what i want to show you today is let's say for instance i'm going to show you two things okay the first one is let's say you want this 600 this 600 by one meter window you want this same thing here all right you want this exact type of window here how do you do that i'm showing you a way of doing it without you going inside certain dialogues all right without you going far and far to you know change the settings and the rest so let me show you a simple method on how to do that i really wish this window is a different type of window okay it will be it will be very clear on the explanation let me quickly select a window okay with difference um let's see let's see let's see let's see okay let's say this is the window okay yeah i think this one will be better Oh, this is too big let me find something fine and also different all right let's use this one with this kind of page mm, it's still the same thing though okay let's say for instance you want this type of window all right you want this type of window here all right so without you going inside let's say you've done all the settings and you just want it here what you need to do is click on you see this pick up parameters all right it's known as um, yeah 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 you see this pick up parameters just click on this pick up parameters and then click on this particular window right once you click on it bring come bring it to this other end to that particular location that you want okay and click there you can see that is the uh, that um same type of window you can see the same type of window on that particular location don't forget i said click on this pick up parameters all right and click on this existing one then click on this part then click inside all right click inside this is it let me do that on the floor plan okay so this is the window and this is very big so this is the window once you click on this pick up parameter this first one all right and then click here click on that particular window if you bring it to this other side you can see the distance all right you can see it here the window is clicking why i say click twice is because once you click outside once you click once you need to take this one inside all right we take this one inside and click inside just the same way of clicking um of installing windows so if you check your 3d now you can see those particular windows here now let me show you another thing let's say this window now the second one now is how to match property okay let's say this is the window you like all right and you want to change this one without removing this particular window from here you just want to convert this one into the same window this exact type of window now let me quickly do something so that you can spot the difference okay so you can spot the difference let's say the material of this one um let's say the material the glass i need to change it this one will make it a uh hair -huh. so you can see the glass now is very deep okay this glass is deep blue let's say you want to change this particular one this particular material the entire window to this particular window there's a way you can do it very very fast okay very very fast what you need to do is click on pick up once you click on this pick up parameters now click on the window and then click on this one you're seeing inject parameter and then touch this particular window you can see we have this itself let me come again <laughs> i know some of you want me to come again i need to do that let me come again all right so let me explain it a way you understand if this is the window you want it's like let me use a syringe to explain it because we are seeing a syringe here it's like you picking a syringe okay let's say we've picked the syringe this is the syringe now this is the, the which is the first pick up parameter right let's say this is one we've picked the syringe now and then now we need to drag that fluid inside so clicking on this window now is like you dragging that fluid okay and then now you need to remove that small white rubber on the syringe okay so clicking on this one is like removing that white rubber on the string okay and then once you 
click on this one you've injected that um that's the person that you've injected that's why you see it appear here so how to do it is i'm just looking for a better explanation okay is that you picking a syringe with the covered you know covered syringe yeah then clicking here is like you dragging nope you can't draw without the, the thing with the syringe covered so let's say <laughs> okay let's say you pick the syringe right and then you opened it is opened you pick an open syringe and then you 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 drag in clicking on this window now it's like you drag in that particular field inside and then it's covered for you to once you drag it and it's covered so now clicking on this second one now is like you opening the cover right i just wish you guys understand okay <laughs> so let me do that let me just explain it again click if you want to transfer this window here you want this window to become this particular window all right click on this first one this pickup parameter click on the window all right so once you do this you can't select any other thing the only thing you can do now is that you can only only um replace this type of window okay it's showing but if you want to just convert this one to this after clicking on this one and selecting the window make sure you click on this eject inject syringe before you tap that particular window all right let's do it on this other one let's do it on this one let's say we want this guy to become like this okay so you click on this um um pick up syringe then you tap the window that you want to change the other one into and then you click on this inject parameter okay and then tap that particular window please just pay attention it's very simple and um, you understand okay you understand it's very simple now let's change this one to this we can still use this one to convert to change we can still make this one become like this okay how we do that is you click on your syringe you first of all click on the window that you want the other one to become like okay now click on the syringe all right and then press ok and then touch um tap this one you can see that it become like this all right how do we see this again i'm looking for a better explanation now click on this one once you click on this all right and then you click on this let's say you want to convert this one to this all right click first of all you need to click on this one this is the syringe click on this syringe mm -hmm. this is a better explanation that's going to work all right so first of all pick an empty bottle this one is like an empty bottle okay pick an empty bottle once you pick an empty bottle fill it with fluid once you fill it with fluid then pick injection once you pick injection that injection automatically have dragged that fluid and then once you click on this one you're injecting this window to become like this i think this one is better yeah this one is better now let's convert all these three together i'm repeating this so that you can understand everything perfectly okay that's why i'm doing it again and again all right so the first thing let's say you want all these three windows to become like this one okay first thing is pick this one this one is like an empty bottle all right now we are filling the bottle click on that existing window oh, i'm sorry on this existing window because we want this one to become like this so click on this existing window all right so the bottle now is filled and then now click on this inject that injection automatically has dragged that fluid that you filled on this empty bottle all right and then once you pick that injection just click on this one the same thing but you can't repeat it continuously you need to do it again okay so now we still select the empty bottle we fill the empty bottle and then we pick the syringe with the fluid and inject this one so now if we do the same thing again we pick an empty bottle we fill the empty bottle now we click on the syringe and then convert this one to this so this is it all right so thank you for your time i just hope you understand okay and if you find the video helpful please do well subscribe if you have any question drop it on the comment section i'll do well to attend to you see you on our next tutorial